Nestling 400 meters above sea level in the heart of the Alps, Lake Annecy radiates a thousand shades of blue. Considered to be the purest lake in Europe, this turquoise jewel contains myriad treasures, not least the old medieval town of Annecy on its shores. The colors come from Italy and are reminiscent of the earth of Siena. The city is protected by its walls. Denis has been showing visitors around Annecy for 30 years, his passion for his hometown undiminished. It's often called the Venice of the Alps because of the river that crosses the whole town from east to west, like the Grand Canal in Venice. It's the main route into the city. Three million visitors flock to visit these streets and canals every year, including the must-see Pont des Amours. At one time, the city wasn't as sprawling as it is today and fairly quiet. So here you had this extremely beautiful panorama of the lake and mountain and a rendezvous for lovers who would kiss as they crossed the bridge with plenty of promise for the future. Annecy is also a big draw for rowing, paddle boarding and water skiing enthusiasts. In fact, the lake is a mecca for water sports. Two hours of catamaran sailing awaits these students from a Swiss international school, most of whom are beginners. There you have it, the sail unfurled. It's my first time sailing, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's a bit stressful, but it's OK. Why stressful? Because I don't want to fall in the water. <laughs> Very good. At the helm, a local boy, 26-year-old Yvon. And then when you can, you turn it, you turn. After studying business, he ended up choosing the lake as his office. It never feels like work unless it's raining. But when the weather is nice like this, a day on the lake can be tiring, but the setting is so beautiful. The setting also seems to appeal to teenagers. Uh, we get to be by the sea. And it's not a sea. <laughs> it's a lake. Do you, like, do you like going fast with it? Yeah, I like going fast. It's fun. It's just the feeling of independence when you go alone without any teachers and nobody is doing anything for you. You do it yourself. It, it's and really it's just scary. It's very fun. While some take a dip in Europe's purest lake, Two-star chef Jean Sulpice heads for the mountains, seeking inspiration for his menu du jour. Right now, we're heading up to the Talois Heights to collect some woodland moss. My culinary inspiration comes from observing and incorporating whatever is around me. Above all, his dishes are memories. I'm going to use this moss to recreate the scent of humus, a fragrance of the undergrowth, a sensation of texture, then create an explosion in your mouth that puts you right in the middle of the woods. You don't eat it like this because it isn't very pleasant. You need to infuse it into a culinary preparation. Back at the restaurant, the chef combines his mossy preparation with another iconic local product. This beautiful fish is the Lake Annecy ferra. It's the catch of the day. I need some oxalis, please. More oxalis. The pace quickens. Around 30 covers have to be served this lunchtime. Underneath is a dash of cream of woodland moss. And on top, I'm going to add a few mushroom leaves like this. We're going to add a plant I like a lot that brings me good luck. It's heart-shaped and it's oxalis. That's edible too? You can eat it, it's wild sorrel. In this exceptional lakeside setting, the restaurant's customers enjoy the panorama as much as the contents of their plates. A taste of lake water first, right? Mm. Is it nice to eat with your fingers? Of course. It reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> Tasting the delights of Lake Annecy also means taking a deep breath of its pure air. Ready? You've got your helmet and harness. Martin is nine years old. We're just about to take off at an altitude of 1,240 meters. He's about to take his first paragliding flight. Come on, I'll hook up the harness. How are you feeling, Martin? A bit tense. Yeah? Why tense? Well, it's my first time, so 
He learned the view's a bit scary. Yes. You'll be fastened here, you see? His guide, Alain, has clocked up 8,000 flights. It's really a passion. If you love flying, you make the most of it. One last look around, and the first flight can begin. Come on, Martin, let's go. More, 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 more. Woo. Suddenly, there's only the sensation of freedom, with a breathtaking view of the Alps and the expanse of blue down below. In Annecy, whether in the air or on the ground, the gaze is always drawn to this majestic lake. <laughs> 